Welcome! Today we have a good test and I'm keeping my promise. We'll be testing Avira Internet Security and it's going up against um, ESET's Premium Smart Security. Um, so on the left we've got Avira. Okay, so let's look at the security settings. Okay, so system scanner, all files, everything is selected except the follow links. Um, and now stopping the scanner and we said scan priority is high. Okay, scan action is automatic and it must quarantine the threats. Archives to scan all archives and we've selected all the archive extensions. Heuristic is set to high detection level and uh, macro virus heuristic is enabled as well. Real-time, all files, monitor and scan archives. Action um, on detection is to quarantine. Further action, so there's a log if we need it. Um, high detection level and macro and dividers again. Device protection is enabled. Internet protection, firewall is on. Uh, block suspicious um, iframes are enabled automatic move to quarantine heuristics is also set to high mail protection we're not going to test that today um, so we have one um, exception and that is our script so we've only added the one exception Ransomware protection is enabled and obviously we went through all the other three sections. Okay, firewall. Firewall is turned on and it's on private mode. Okay, nothing there. Um, we're not going to use the other modules. Okay, so status is fine. Um, let's quickly disable real time shield. Uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so these are our latest malware samples yet again. Uh, we downloaded a couple of new samples um, today. Um, 1704 samples. Let's open up ESET in the meantime. Okay, so I have connected to my ESET home account. Um, let's start with the advanced settings. Uh, just want to make sure that the fender won't interfere. Uh, shouldn't be okay so now yet again as we did for internet security which we'll do for the smart security everything is set to aggressive mode and uh, on reporting and protection as you can see everything is set exclusions and um, detection exclusion um, we made one um, exclusion for our script for the performance there's none Advanced options, anti-stealth and the MC protection is enabled. So real-time machine, everything is enabled. Okay, as you can see, everything is enabled. Process to be excluded from scanning, there's nothing. Threat sense parameters, everything is enabled. And cleaning level um, is remedy detections if safe, ask otherwise. Exclusions, nothing excluded from scanning. Smart optimization, there's no, we left all the limits as it is. Additional threat, 
Um, sense parameters, everything has been enabled, advanced heuristics, everything here, advanced reduction of file execution, everything here is enabled. Cloud-based protection, ESET Live Grid is enabled, Live Guard is enabled, and submit crash report, submit uh, anonymous statistics are enabled, manual submit for um, samples is enabled as well. These are the extensions. Lifeguard is enabled. We left it on default, so it's kill running process and clean. And proactive protection is block until receiving the analysis results. And maximum time is five minutes. So that's um, the new feature is for the premium security is the lifeguard. It's the it's ESET's own sandbox technology. So that is enabled. Malware scans, we haven't touched anything there. That's still on default. HIPS, everything is enabled for HIPS. Exclusion for deep behavior, there's nothing. Ransomware shield is enabled. Filtering mode is automatic. Advanced setup, we didn't um, enable anything here. Network protection, firewall is enabled. Filtering mode is automatic. Advanced, we didn't touch anything there. Allowed services, these are the settings as it is. Default, we haven't touched anything. Firewall profiles, um, etc. Network attack uh, protection, so IDS and botnet is enabled. Advanced, intrusion detection, we left everything here on default. And packet inspection, left everything on default. We haven't changed anything. Web and email. The email side we're not going to test, but web, everything is enabled again. Protocols, um, address list, still as it is. Thread sets parameters, everything is as it is out of the box. Okay, so if we go to setup, computer protection, everything is enabled except gamer mode and device control. Internet protection, everything is enabled. Network protection enabled, security tools enabled. We also enabled secure all browsers. That was not enabled by default, so we even enabled that. Yeah, let's quickly just uh, pause the protection. Okay, same amount of samples. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for these malware to extract on the ESET machine. Um, it's taking a bit of time. So let's just update Java. Okay, so Windows Defender should not interfere. Okay, let me quickly update Java. Um, still waiting for the malware to be executed. Uh, sorry, to be extracted. Once it's extracted, we'll start the test. Okay, and we're back. Um, Java is now up to date. Malware has been extracted. In the meantime, I've opened up Process Explorer on them both. As you can see, submit files, virus total. Submit files, virus total. Okay, let's quickly enable the protection. Uh, our video is already, yeah, 10 minutes. It's already activated. Let's check for updates. Let's quickly check for updates for ESET as well. Okay, so it looks like Avira is up to date. Let's just my quadruple share, they're all up to date. Okay, so Avira is up to date, it's ready. All the security modules are enabled, everything is green, it's on. ESET is protected, it's ready. Okay, so I think we can start this test, guys. I've got my coffee ready. I'm ready for this test. Hopefully ESET uh, premium security can do a better job than internet security, which I think it will because it has the um, new sandbox technology. Okay, so malware is executing.
Hello. Okay, so he said is restarting. Um, there was no notification um, for he said to restart. It just did it on its own, so I'm restarting it. No point in stopping it at that point. So I'll let he said quickly restart, and then um, when it's back up again, I'll continue the test for he. Okay, so he said wanted to restart again. Um, I think it's one of the malware causing the restart. So I'm gonna restart he said. Um, I'll close it. I'll execute the last bit of malware and then um, um, start the test again on he said. Okay, so the test is done on a Vera. We had no issues on this one. So I'm just executing the last bit of malware. Just waiting for ESET to come back up again. Okay, so this is the malware that's open. Something obviously is downloading and installing. It's almost done, it's almost on 97. So this is the only one that's still open. Obviously it looks like one of those games, similar one that we had on Bitdefender. Um, okay, let's have a look see. Uh, I think it's that game, the Flash Player one. So there's one. Okay, so it's only one malware. And I think it's the one that we still have open. Just wanted to see what it's going to do. Let's see if ESET's got anything. Okay, no, it seems like ESET is clean. Okay, so we're running the test for the third time on ESET. Um, if it's going to try and restart again, I'm going to try and stop it as quick as I can. Um, because there's a specific malware I think that's causing ESET to reboot. So if we're going to keep on testing, we're going to keep on hitting that wall where when it gets to that malware that it's gonna um, kind of restart so I'll try my best to stop it um, but yeah I'm gonna so obviously this is still doing something so I'm gonna let it run and then I'll start the scans with um, Okay, so he said wants to restart. I'll do the restart now. Let me just stop my test. So let's quickly give he said the chance to restart. Once it's back up and running again, I'll continue the test. Okay, so I'm executing malware again on ESET. I'm gonna try and stop that shutdown as quick as I can. Um, yeah, it seems like it's the same type of game that we that was installed on Bitdefender the other day. Um, they say it is clean, but it can be one of two scenarios. Either it is a legitimate game, or just no one has come across over this, this file and just have not labeled it as malware. But we have one actively running in here. Um, so I'm just going to close this one because so this is the malware that game so no one has detected it um, but yeah maybe it will be flagged later as a POP or it's even a legitimate game I don't even know um, so I'm just going to restart a video because uh, obviously he said had a restart so I feel it's more than fair so let me just restart a video um, Still executing a lot of malware. Um, so he said it's still running. So 
So I'm just showing you guys what it is to execute the malware. So obviously this is what I do the whole time. Attend to all the error messages um, and open um, open all the malware. Okay, so he said wanted to restart now, so I think I managed to stop it. He said it's still open. Um, you can still open up eSent. Um, the services are still running just to make sure that in that shutdown something maybe didn't stop or um, so there's the main eSet. There's the eSet services. So ESET still seems to be functioning. Um, it's still on, it's open, try icon did not disappear. Um, okay, it's not deleting. Okay, surprise, surprise, he said restarted again. Um, okay, so after the restart for Vira, that malware is still running. And yeah, a couple of scripts and whatnot. Uh, let's check for updates. Okay, we're just gonna do a smart scan quickly. And if it's not picking anything up because of ESET still running, I'll just do a full scan on a Vera. Okay, let me run this test and I'll show you guys the results. Okay, so guess what happened again? He said wants to restart. Okay, so it was actually running very nicely, executing a lot of malware. Then obviously one of the malware, or maybe multiple of them, of the ones that are in the other folder, also seems to be trying to restart the machine. And obviously now the GUI has crashed, which I've seen on ESET Internet Security before. Which is quite annoying because I have quite a lot of malware that I still need to attend to and I can't now because I don't know if ESET is running proper. So yeah, this is getting a bit annoying. Not once did it happen on the Avira machine and it managed to kill most of the malware. So we've got 195 so it's still quarantining malware and ESET, yeah we have quite a bit of malware left so the other the malware that I'm not sure if it actually executed or not is 305 and the malware that I'm trying to execute is 506 so I need to restart ESET again so that I can make sure that no one complains that ESET might not have been functioning properly so let me get everything closed. Okay, wants to restart in any case. So yeah, restarting again. I'll continue the test once it's up again. Okay, so he said it's just doing a quick update after the restart, so we have this error message.
Okay, it's updating. Okay, so it seems like it's up to date. Can't see anything malicious. Okay, so I'm gonna run the scan. Um, when this scan is done, I'll quarantine whatever threads it found and then I'll immediately start with the third party opinion scans just to save a bit of time. Okay, so it seems uh, EZ is done with its scan. It says 173, then it cleaned 162. Uh, so let's say clean, apply. And we're finally done with all the third-party scans. So just to point out on the EZ one, EZ did quarantine some of the threads when the third-party opinion scanners were running. So I'm just pointing that out. Okay, so on the left, um, Avira did find um, 65 detections and it moved uh, 37 of them. So that one is complete. And then if we look at Hitman Pro, um, malware in the malware folder, only one file outside of that uh, in the, um, under the SysVo64, but everything is just on the desktop, so that's good. Norton. 18 threads, couple of threads in app data, um, public, public, program data, and then under app data again. So Norton managed to find quite a bit that um, Hitman Pro didn't. Now look at MCSoft. Okay, so let's do it by location. Okay, so program data, then under app data, and then malware on the desktop, and then small amount on the public, um, not too bad. Okay, let's look at malware bytes. Okay, so there's something under documents and settings. Um, for public and then app data more under app data quite a bit actually under app data app data still now it's still malware on the desktop okay then a couple of things under the windows and then two registry keys. Okay, so not too bad. Um, obviously not a clean slate, but actually not that bad. Um, maybe you can just remove this malware with all these third party opinion scans and then you can decide for yourself if you wanna trust the machine. But you guys know me by now, <laughs> if there's any, any significant malware on a machine, I just don't trust it. So we still have obviously this one malware running in memory. So let's have a look, see. Okay, so uh, obviously ESET knows about it.
Okay, so only a couple of them that don't know about it. Yeah, so obviously it's got to do when that flash player was installing. Um, I think that was also needed for that other game maybe to launch. But there's that flash player. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, so not too bad, but obviously one memory in uh, one malware in the memory, and then Sims malware bytes and Norton found quite a bit under app data. MC Soft not that much under app data. Um, only three items under public, uh, but not that many under app data. So let's have a look at ESET. So we still randomly get this Java error. Okay, let's have a look at uh, Hitman Pro. Okay, one under app data. Um, then these are the malware that I um, split on the desktop. So this is all just malware on the desktop. So that's fine. Uh, malware on the desktop. And then another one under app data. And yeah, so Hitman Pro one. Uh, two, maybe two or three under app data, so not too bad. Uh, let's have a look at Norton Power Eraser. Also, quite a bit under app data, like with. Um, so, seems to be the same 1818. <laughs> okay, so. Um, only difference is there is quite a bit of highs. Uh, the severity for Avira, at least he said only has one. Um, so yeah, app data again. So also that fake Skype one that we've seen before. App data local. So it's all just temp files. Uh, let's have a look see at MC Soft while we're here. Okay, so one in the recycle bin. Uh, that's probably one of the malware that was deleted. Okay, app data, not that many. Maybe five or so under app data, calling empty soft, and just malware on the desktop. Yeah, still malware on the desktop. And that's it. Okay, so not that many with MC soft. Um, malware bytes. Oh, and I did do a scan with Trent Micro, uh, but I did not do the scan with Trent Micro on ESET because we were just running out of time, and Trent Micro is not one of the fastest scanners. Okay, let's change my location. Okay, so obviously a program installed here. Um, then app data, app data. Quite a bit for under app data according to Malwarebytes. So quite a bit under app data. Um, still under app data. Okay, now we're on the malware on the desktop. Desktop, desktop. And then that fake Skype and then one, two, three, four. Four registry cre registry entries. Let's just compare that to Avira. Avira's got three registry entries, um, but then obviously a couple of things under Windows, which is not only one Windows for ESET. Quite a bit under Windows for Avira, but the app data is not as much. Um, well, if you look at the detections, there's obviously 150 compared to 109. Um, so yeah, so I would say actually very similar results between the two. Yeah, see the logs not there. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. You can make your own conclusion. Um, it seems like the premium security does perform a little bit better than the internet security, 
but I can't see a night and day difference unfortunately um, I was really thinking maybe the, the, the cloud sandbox technology would have done a better job but for those who know ESET um, I'm still an ESET partner but um, I haven't used ESET for, for quite a number of years but I still have my, my partner login um, for those who maybe who know ESET better than me um, I could not see that there was any indication that something was running in the sandbox unfortunately um, maybe someone can point it out to me but I did go through all the settings everything was enabled so I, I, I think everything was fine according to the settings but yeah between the two very similar results very similar detections via the third party opinion scans a little bit more of malware bytes on the e set but if we look at the results fairly sim similar um, obviously this installed and then um, I rewrite the game so they both allow programs to install downloads obviously that's the thing that was downloading documents are still intact nothing wrong two batch files pictures for a Vera is no problem so luckily no ransomware infection so that's good if you can always avoid ransomware that's fine if you've got other malware infections you can still deal with it backup reload type of thing um, let's look at the startups Okay, so quite a bit of startup items for Avira. There's that, and then obviously we have these ones here. Let's have a look see for ESET. So obviously ESET has a lot less. Only those two, and then one, so only three, where there is uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten or so. So um, obviously ESET has less startup items, so definitely better than Avira but we still get this random error message and uh, let's look at the documents okay download seems good hey awesome Docu documents is perfect there's no batch files like there was with Avira pictures are intact okay no ransomware infection okay so yeah so that's actually good so if I have to judge between the two, I would say maybe ESET did a little bit better. It's got less startup items. Uh, there's no additional files, batches in the um, folder locations. Avira had two batch files in the documents, more startup items. Um, but according to malware infection and what third-party opinion scanners are picking up, very similar results Norton 1818 MC soft 29 um, 170 what was sorry 197 but it's because there's more malware on the desktop um, but outside of those two locations very similar results malware bytes um, very similar um, obviously also more malware on the desktop because I think there's less malware on the desktop and yeah so guys I would say it's neck and neck very similar results not day and night um, but I'll lean more a bit to ESET I think that maybe did just that little bit that better because at least with ESET there's nothing running in the memory I think it's clean where with Avira we still have that one there and I have already rebooted the machine before I did the scans so yeah so i would say he said that win between these two but obviously not a clean slate for for either of them um as i've always said i would rather clean these machines reload them no way i'll trust them and i'll keep singing that same song <laughs> but yeah you guys can make your own conclusion let me know what you guys thought about the video um, what you guys thought on how internet security he said performed on the uh, the, the previous video and how the premium security performed with the additional um, sandbox technology um, more tests to come we have a couple other tests that we've planned so we obviously have a list of our versus battles so we'll start the recording um, soon 
but thanks again guys for watching for the views and the like buttons hope you guys are learning from all these videos that you guys can get an idea of all the products and how they perform if there's any recommendations or tests that you guys want us to do um, we'll hopefully um, early next year we'll start to test business products so we will not only just test home products we'll start business products but unfortunately business products you have to pay for them so we're just working all of that out so that we can start testing um, more higher in business products but until next time guys i'll see you soon and let us know what you guys thought about this video